Okay, welcome to our little slideshow of Guernsey views. Uh, we're starting off with uh, some dusk views of, what's it called, Paul? Castle Cornet. That's Castle Cornet and St. Peterport. With the town church. Yeah, that's it, at dusk. And we had a lot of fog, and this is the, is it the sailing club, Paul? It's the sailing club that goes out. It's a youth club that goes out each Sunday morning. The smaller boats. I thought they were quite pretty in the in the fog, actually, but completely insane. These people for doing this, I wouldn't. You wouldn't catch me out there like that. No way. I used to do that. Did you? Oh. Millionaire's boat. Huh? Yeah. Gone for fuel refueling. Seagull on the light. Yeah, this is just outside Mons. That's it. And they like they love that spot. Don't yeah, they? they do. They love to be sat up there watching the view, seeing what's going on. This is just re next door to Radio Guernsey and Channel Channel TV as well. And that was a walk up uh, Plymon, was it Plymon? Yeah. So yeah. these are German. Uh, these were built during the German occupation by the Germans as lookouts. And these, this is the Second World War. Yeah, these views are quite um, spectacular. I mean, you look down the cliff and there's just massive drops right down to the sea, and you could see the seabirds below. Beautiful colours, huh, Paul? Yeah, but my brother and his girlfriend and I, we used to climb down these cliffs and go swimming yeah. just beyond that Martello Tower. We oh, used to go there. That's crazy as well. I'd never catch me doing that. <laughs> you can see the birds down there as well. I just wanted to zoom in on those. And the rocks. And it's just, just quite spectacular. This rock was beautiful. It was swelling. The water was swelling over it. It was gorgeous. It looked very cold though. And again, you wouldn't catch me swimming in that sea. No way, Jose. It's lovely. Well, it's lovely for you, but not for me. Oh, sends shivers down my spine. This was looking the opposite direction, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah, this is going towards Liu Island and Liu Island on the right there and then going out to the Hamwa Lighthouse. Do you catch the Hamwa Lighthouse? I'm not sure. It was pretty bright out there and you couldn't really see it very well, so I didn't really catch it properly. And there was a plane going into land, wasn't it? That was a fly bee, wasn't it, coming in? Going into land. I got a little snap of it going over the um, the tower. That's there, which great. Which is quite that. nice, yeah. Another little snap there. A couple of little photos that I took. And another one. They're quite nice. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Guernsey is lovely. Though. Yeah, it is lovely. It's um, It's a very nice island. If you get a chance to visit, you should go. Now we had more fog as well, and I think this was the Royal Princess. That Royal was, Victoria, um, wasn't it? No, it was the Royal Princess. Was it? it was enormous. I mean, there's no way you'd catch me going on a boat either. I can't stand Oh, this it. is mean, the one with the big screen. Yeah, a huge screen, screen right on top. top. I mean, you know, have you seen Titanic people? Save yourselves now. Save <laughs> yourselves. Get I mean, off there the must boat. be like 3,000, 4,000 oh, people on no. that. I mean, to me, it's just a walking cesspit, really, of bacteria and illness. No, I'm sorry. No way. No way. I don't care how luxurious they are. No, thank you. Mum and Dad went on the smaller one. Well, they quite a big Arcadia, one, but on they? the Arcadia, and they loved it. I know they did, but you wouldn't catch me on it. No way. I'm not no. doing that. Well, at least they have enough lifeboats now, supposedly. Oh, God, no. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. It really is. And I took this picture of them, um, you know, just out on the in the bay. And this was the Victoria. This is the Royal Victoria. Royal Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Again, enormous. Enormous. Oh, gives me the chills. Really does. And this was taken from Fort George. A bit grainy, that picture. Now, this was Leray. 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 That's how you say it. And we went here for an ice cream. I think I've got a shot of your mum and you having an ice cream. We had lovely. we had a flake and you had chocolate. Uh, I didn't know flakes were available. Sauce. I didn't know flakes were available. I, I'd have had a flake as well. Um, even on a grey day, it's beautiful. We Those rocks on the right, we used to go swimming off that. And that rocks on the left, we swam to those. Yeah. Well, again, crazy. <laughs> There you go. There we nice are. Nice scream. Lovely. That was a nice day. Now this is Liu. A little shot of Liu, Liu Island. You can walk to that island and that's looking in the opposite direction towards Luray. <coughs> you can only walk to Liu when the tide is down. Yeah, when the tide is down. That's North Beach, isn't it? I just threw that yeah. one in there. Now this is Liu. And actually across that water is a causeway that you can walk to the island at low tide. 
and of course you can't get trapped on the island you've got to be careful you've got to get back before the tide comes in or which we did do a few years ago which was great or what they used to have seaweed eating sheep or you can stay overnight no you can't stay overnight well what do you do if you get trapped or you stay overnight but well, you can't exactly. there's no B&B <clears throat> you didn't say there was a B&B no but, you just yeah. get you have, and you have can lots you get of rats can you get rescued no they don't rescue you from Liu because it's your fault you don't get rescued oh. from Liu what if you're vulnerable well you can't get there and this is when the fog had cleared and I could see the boat, so I thought I may as well take a few shots of the boat sat out there. It's quite beautiful. And that was quite a nice afternoon. I walked down the um, seafront to take those. I don't remember you doing that. Yeah, you weren't with me. I walked off, didn't I? We got home and I said, I'm going to go oh, and yeah, catch them yeah. because they were in the sun. Yeah, and I went to put the shopping away, didn't you I? You put the shopping away yeah. and did those things. Yeah. That's right. I thought that was quite pretty. Quite nice and they shot. change as the tide changes direction they change the way that they face as well yeah oh well they're bound to aren't because they? the anchors come out front and they'll check they'll spin around so from low tide to high tide they'll spin and around. then the fog came in again again we had fog and actually on this bit i think i've left a bit of soundtrack on there you can actually hear the fog horn sounding and it literally went all day and all night but this is mum's view when there's fog this this is mum's patio normally you can see St Peterport from there but yeah. you couldn't see a thing it was literally a blanket of fog complete blanket crazy <clears throat> and it sort of anchors itself to the island doesn't it yeah I guess that what, that's what fog does well it's sea fog yeah, yeah. But it did lift, as you can see in this uh, bit of um, film, it eventually lifted, but it was still hanging around. Those buildings there used to be the fruit export, and oh, that's right. where all the fruit was exported from. Okay. Really old warehouse. And then we went to the little chapel. Oh, um, the little chapel. This is the pathway. It was a sunny day this day. It was lovely, nice and warm, but not too hot. And this is the pathway that, that leads up to the, the little chapel, which you're going to see in a minute, because I took quite a bit of video... Well, we're um, walking back it. here, aren't we? Well, we are walking back, but I took a video as we walked back. It's absolutely beautiful, and this meadow was full of birds. You went birds and looked singing. at the meadow, and I pointed something out to you, which you ignored. Oh, well. But it was there was birds. I, I think I've left a bit of soundtrack on here, and the birds are singing. It was very beautiful. It's like a little valley. It's lovely. It really is quite charming. So there we go. Vauble. Vauble. Valley. Vauble. I'm not sure how that's spelled, but they. B A U X B L E T S. Me pulling my pants up. Well, oh, that's a good idea. Lovely day, very very sunny and beautiful. I'm not sure why I did so much in this video. Was well, this th this was Thursday? I can't remember what day was what, and this is a view walking up towards the little chapel, which is little, isn't it? It's absolutely tiny it's like a dolly chapel it really is i mean i could just about fit in um which you'll see in a minute we're going to go inside and it's covered absolutely covered in pottery bits and pieces which apparently a lot have been donated from wedgwood the steps were donated from wedgwood yeah and it's just covered in mosaic it's absolutely lovely it really is if you ever get to go to guernsey then check it out because it's really really nice and they need donations as well because it's yeah. it's all all donation based. It's uh, those are real pay, flowers. Huh? You don't pay to go in. You just go in and you hopefully give a donation. And there's a shop as well that you can go and buy souvenirs. Uh, it's quite sweet. It's absolutely pretty. Really is. And you can see the sort of sparkliness. We as school kids, we actually place some stones on a on some pathways. So you did a bit when of work I was on about, it. Yeah, when I was about five or six or seven, something like that. Well, it's really charming. It's got a got a real sweet atmosphere about it. But apparently, it is crumbling and falling apart. So it's constant maintenance. Well, it's it's been it's there is a, a restoration program ongoing, and there's a foundation that has been set up. It was actually built by um, a monk who started this in the early twentieth century. And um, when he built one, he decided it was very, very small. So he built another, which is what this is yeah, going down here. 
uh, and it's you go down the steps as you can see to another level lower down which is again just as pretty and sparkly and they've got sort of like a skylight so it lets natural light in and they've got a few you know strategically placed lights as well there you go there's a bit of Wedgwood there that's Wedgwood it's Wedgwood yeah, yeah. it's very very pretty and quite atmospheric as well I mean I'm not religious at all but I do like churches and I think they're fascinating places and clearly they're you know built for the drama the drama of religion to get you religious people hooked you see that bit's um, under construction I think I show a couple of bits where they're, they've yet to replace the tiles you can see there on the left hand side very very pretty there's one of the skylights letting the natural light in which is really nice so yeah that's the little chapel um, look it up on the internet that wall was lovely very sparkly and here we go outside yeah into the light go into the light And there's also the, the walls outside are made of clinker, which is um, coal, effectively. Mm -hmm. A burnt coal. And then where are we now, Paul? Grand Rock. Grand Rock. Now, this was, a, again, a beautiful day. And you can see the colour of the sea. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful, beautiful. And clear. Sea. Very clear, yeah. And the rocks, this beautiful, sandy... Pink granite. Pink lovely colour and the beach here as well you can see white beach we used to come down to that beach between when I was about five what's till, that called that's Kobo that's Kobo Bay from about five till about 16 we used to dive off this wall when it was high tide you'd hate that oh god gotcha. but we used to dive off this wall when it was high tide no thank you this beach has so many memories yeah it's absolutely beautiful colour now this house coming up I call, it the, I call it the fruit salad garden now I slow it down a bit here as we go past but look at the work that's gone into this garden not my cup of tea but it's absolutely stunning I mean a lot of work a lot of work and he does that every year and in fact when we were back in April he was just getting ready to do it it was bare ground wasn't it and here are a few snaps of mum's flowers in the garden she's got busy lizzies geraniums um, Nemesia. she absolutely adores her flowers and she's got lots of pots on the patio with lots of different colours and she really pink. maintains them really well she really enjoys it she loves looking at them. now that's St Peter Port that's at the harbour now that is the goof isn't it yeah yeah and this is a church, you can hear the church bells. It's, the it's, church. Um, it's absolutely pretty, really pretty. And I love the sound of church bells. Now, we had one evening where we had um, a bit of a storm. We had a storm in the distance, and I tried to capture a few flashes of lightning. Nothing as spectacular as my um, very uh, popular storm video, but yeah, there you go, a few flashes here and there. And seagull again. And Mr. Seagull. My favourite birds to look at was a very grey, murky day. Another boat. This is the freight boat coming in. The Condor. That comes in daily. And then we're finishing off with Mr Seagull again, because uh, they're my favourite, uh, one of my favourite birds. Such now characters. That, that looks really close, doesn't it? But that's it like three quite miles. far away. Yeah. There you go. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.